also create jobs. He is tied to a crime of deception, a fugitive accused of taking from one man and giving law enforcement the slip. Jeremy Ross with tonight's Wisconsin's Most Wanted. It is described as a twisted tangle of trouble. Yeah, a little a tangled web. A warped plot spun. They knew what they were doing. And the damage was done. It was just, uh, you know, an old school beatdown. August of last year, two people visited Muskego's Danoon Park. The uh, victim and a uh, female acquaintance were uh, walking through the park. They were eventually met by four men, including 35 year old Jamie Robinson. One of the uh, individuals struck the victim in the face. Detective Phil Carini of the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force says the victim was restrained by Robinson. And then began to uh, choke him. Carini says the 35 year old and the others took cash and marijuana from the man. And as the victim got up and was looking around for his female acquaintance, he had heard a scream and a, uh, a vehicle leaving, so he assumed that uh, she was uh, abducted. But this is where the tangle of deceit and lies kind of spins her own little web of her own. Begins to materialize. The uh, female was basically the ringleader in this matter. There was no abduction. Law enforcement believes the female friend recruited Robinson and the others to trap the victim like a fly in a spider's web. It was a strong arm robbery. But what they were after also included vengeance. This is definitely a uh, revenge. Carini says the victim was cooperating with law enforcement in a separate drug case, adding Robinson and the others wanted cash and payback. Well, there's always a, a risk of retaliation. U.S. Marshals say Robinson could be hiding out in Muskego or Wind Lake. A fugitive accused of helping to weave a mesh of deception with law enforcement hoping to find the thread leading to his capture. Jeremy Ross, Fox 6 News. Well, a record-breaking opening day for one Milwaukee festival. And the festival season kicks off with not one but two.